this disabled gaming reviews let's play it's best enjoyed in front of a computer monitor and or tablet with the speakers on and to any epileptics out there please watch this in a well-lit environment to reduce the risk of any potential seizures this DJR place party is also unofficially sponsored by boom and mini boom and air so boom and mini boom are a geek boutique where if you're looking for things like dragon ball mugs alien figurines etc etc definitely check them out did I also mention that they're an official Warhammer retailer? So if you're looking for extra fire team squads to add to your Tau army, definitely check them out. They are located opposite Airbus Station. Look out for the Deadpool statue. Links to Boom and Mini Boom's Facebook page is in the video's description below. Now, with all that aside, please enjoy the video. Sponsored Commander 1982 Federal of Disabled Game Reviews here. Welcome to part 9 of my Let's Play of Max Payne for the PC. So, last time we've been able to find out who framed the ex. DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. So, we have been able to hunt him down, take him down, and put a few extra bullets in his body for good measure. We've then been able to uncover the secret society behind Project Valhalla. So, um, it's something, it's an organization called the Inner Circle. Now we know exactly who is heading Project Valhalla, Nicole Horn. So we are now trying to our best to escape from the Inner Circle's headquarters so we can start our assault in the Acer Corporation building. Okay, let's get the timer ready. Okay, let's let's get this let's get this party started. Once again, no miles here because he still is in New York. Oh, was that the last time I seen it? Thing. But I thought I was wondering around. Never mind though. Get to the car. My bad bros. Special forces take painkillers and their loadouts. to save the progress so I've got 43 minutes 14 seconds on at the clock so I've got bags of thing here but as I was saying this level is like a labyrinth Thank <laughs> you. 
taking me down, I think. That didn't work. Fantastic. Damn. Oh. Apparently I've taken them down already. Yep, more. There seems to be a lot more dead bodies than in blooming. going to see the city more, but that was quoting from Alex Balder. I guess that is not a total waste of journey. I <laughs> normally do bullet dodge, shoot dodges instead of um, using the action key. That is because I've bound shoot dodge and action for two dodges on the mouse. Seven minutes and fifty seconds on the clock. CIA, FBI, you've seen one, you've seen them all. Sure, good for a practice run. But this, working for her. Oh, this is the real contact. That's interesting. Once again, we've got the Acer Corporation logo. Take him down. Shoot to kill. Let's finish this.
CIA, FBI, you fell. So I guess I'll have to get my movement right. Take him down. Shoot to kill. Let's finish this. Much better. Well, you know, it's just... Mine wasn't the most original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge. Old as dirt, still going strong. The cardinal rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal, which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time thinking about it, building up the rage. When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra high tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. New York disappeared behind a veil of snow. I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, metal detectors, and surveillance systems. Colder than a walk-in fridge. Cold as a gun.
Mona. Looking good. Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. It will be a cold day in hell before I let a narc cop stop me. Miss Sachs, do your job. Relax, Max. You're a nice guy. I don't kill nice guys. You're not bad yourself. It was different when Horn wanted Punchinello dead. To cut her ties to the Mafia, he deserved to die. The same goes with her. She's the bad guy here. Her sister was whispering to her in my favor. I knew the appetites of ghosts intimately. They hungered for revenge. Max! <laughs> no! A gunshot boomed and she fell down in slow motion. She was a nice girl. Not really a stone cold killer. And now she was stone cold dead. Like religious fanatics or loyal samurai, Horn's private army was coming at me. When the elevator came back down, Mona was gone. There was a lot of blood, but no body. Something clicked for the final time. My mind had never been so clear, as if somewhere high above the storm clouds were already gone, cold stars blazing from the black skies. movies and I'm talking about the coolest of the cool it always seems like time slows down in the middle of the action you know you can see the bullets flying through the air the hero dodging in slow motion oh man it would be so cool to be able to do that bullet time that's what they call it Watch out. <laughs>
this person. You know what I'm talking about. What the hell? I had elevator access to the mainframe. From there, I'd be able to override the security locks and get to her office. Horn's pet guardian, inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me. I'm not a cold-blooded killer. I'm a nice guy. I love my wife. Chopper was Horn's pet guardian, inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me. Horn's pet guardian, inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me.
So 11 minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. I am streaming through this.
were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator would take me all the way up. were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator would take me all the way up. All orange locks were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator would take me all the way up. Seen from this height, the night seemed to stretch on to eternity. A hint of desperation had crept into the snowstorm, as if it was trying to get it all out before the end. Horn's personal computer was on. Next to the printer was a neat stack of expensive paper. Hacking through Horn's computer would have unearthed files of criminal plans, strategies for world domination, spy helicopter reports, illegal wiretap recordings, internet porno, all of the above. Take your pick. I really didn't care anymore. I had seen too much of it already. Valkyr had been meant to be a white-winged maiden that would lift you to a warrior's heaven, but it turned out to be a one-way demon ride to hell. The devil was in the drug. I knew. I had met him. And now I was gonna kill her. The queen of the underworld who had tried to lift herself a bit closer to heaven with her drug money. No begging, no bribes. She knew better. Honor among killers. We who are about to die. Both of us knew how this would end. In pain and suffering. All this because your wife stuck her nose into things that were none of her business. The cops were coming to take me away. The sirens were like a bad conscience I couldn't shake. It's ridiculous you've made it this far. You won't be alive when they get here. Stop him!
That's it for today. So I'll see you guys next time where I'll be able, hopefully, be able to finish this game off. Until then, I'll see you then.